King, I understand you have some really exciting news to tell our listeners today. Yes, Kelly. The House of Hoes has just come out with a brand new way for folks to get a new hoe. It's called dial a ho. So, how does dial a ho work, King? Well, people just call up the whole house hotline, put in their order, and then in nothing flat, we deliver a nice hoe right to their door. We've been doing it for about three weeks now just to get the bugs out of the system. Well, let's see if any of our listeners have any comments about Dial a Ho. Oh, here comes our first call now. Line one, you're on the air with the King of Hoes. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Jim Bob, and I would just like to say I think a Dial a Ho is fantastic. A couple of weeks ago, my good buddy Earl was in town visiting me from L.A. Now, Earl and me, we kind of grew up together around these parts, but we haven't seen each other for almost 10 years since he moved away to L.A. So, Jim Bob, what happened? Did you have a big reunion? Who we did we ever? See, Earl was staying in town, and he had a suite at the Dutel Motel, and I went over to see him. We were in a suite watching the game on the big screen TV and drink a wild turkey when Earl said, Hey, why don't we get us some hoes? Now, there's an original idea. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim Bob. Go right on with your story. I thought getting some hoes was a great idea, so I opened up the newspaper, and I see this ad for dial a hoe. So I call the house of hoes and a girl named Amber answers and asks what kind of hoe I want. She's talking pretty fast and asking all these questions, so I put her on a speakerphone so Earl can hear what she's saying too. She says they got all kinds of hoes. Short ones, tall ones, big ones, small ones, locals, imports, naked hoes, fully dressed hoes, singing hoes, and talking hoes. And she says, what kind of hoe you boys want? Well... Earl says he likes to talk to his hoe, so he says he wants a hoe that he can talk to, and he says part of the fun is undressing him, so he wants a fully dressed hoe. He also says he likes his hoes big, so he says he wants a big hoe. So the girl at the hoe house says that she's got a big hoe named a Big Bertha, but she says this hoe's not for everybody. A big Bertha's a real big Texas hoe, and it takes a special kind of man to handle Big Bertha. Well, Earl says he got to have Big Bertha, and that he's sure he's man enough to handle her. Now, I don't know why Earl wants the big hose. Heck, he's only five foot six, and that's in his special elevator shoes. But when it comes to hose, every man has his favorites, I guess. Now, me, I'm pretty easy to please, so I said, just send me a hoe with a good personality that likes to have fun. I said, how about one of them cute little imported hoes? And the girl at the hoe house says, how about a Mexican hoe? I said, that'd be just fine. Okay, Jim Bob, so what happened next? Well, that girl at the hoe house says, how are you boys fixed for wild turkey and potty balloons. I thought that's a good idea. We should play it safe and we're almost at the bottom of the bottle with our own wild turkey. So I said, sure, send us some potty balloons and some wild turkey along with those hoes. So I says, what's it all come to? Girl adds it up and Earl almost falls over because he says that the price is real good. He says in LA he can't even get one hoe for that price, let alone two hoes, some wild turkey and some potty balloons. So I puts it on his credit card and says, when can we get them? Amber said it would be about 30 minutes because they got to dress the hose up real nice in Corinthian leather outfits. Hoo-wee! Me and Earl are getting real excited because we just love our hose dressed in leather. So how did it go, Jim Bob? Well, we only had to wait 20 minutes and then there was a knock at the door and it was that girl named Amber from the hoe house. Now, if you remember Saturday night two weeks ago, that was the night of the big storm, the night that all the power went out. So I just opened the door and everything went black. The TV went off, the big fans up on the ceiling stopped whirling, and it was dead quiet. So we really didn't get a good look at our hoes. Well, that must have been very interesting. Yes, it sure was. We couldn't see nothing, but we still had a great time. I can still remember Earl's whole big Bertha talking to him all night long. She's got a real nice voice, but she says the same five or six things all night long. My whole name was Pooter, and she kept asking me all night long, Do you love your Pooter? I had to keep telling her, Yes, Pooter, I love you. Some hoes are really insecure, I guess. Well, I must have passed out, because when I woke up in the morning, the fire had come on, the TV was blaring, and I woke up to this popping sound like balloons breaking when they hit the overhead fan. Earl was already gone because he had to get away to catch his plane back to L.A., and the holes in the wild turkey were gone, too. All I had left was two garden rakes wrapped in leather, one really big one beside Earl's bed, and one tiny little one next to my bed. Oh, and there was a plastic box of what looked like barbecue chicken. I guess the hoes must have bought it over for us and plum forgot about it when they left. 
I put it in the microwave and had it for breakfast, and it tasted real good, too. So would you use the Dial-A-Ho service again, Jim Bob? Absolutely. And Earl says he wants to do it again next time he's in town. He said he had a real good time, but he can't figure out how come he woke up with all these little cuts on his legs. It was strange, because I had the same kind of cuts on my legs. Earl says he figures the hose must have been wearing stiletto heels. And Earl says the next time we'll get the same two hoes, but tell him no stiletto heels. Ah, uh, yes, that must have been it. That's Earl. He was always the smart one, and that was the one with the movie star good looks. Oh, do you look like someone famous? Uh, like maybe Brad Pitt? Brad who? No, ma'am. Most people say I look just like the guy on the cover of Mad Magazine. Oh, good grief. I beg your pardon, ma'am? Oh, nothing, nothing at all, Jim Bob. Over to you, King. So, if you want a good hoe delivered right to your door, just give us a call on the Dial-A-Hole Hotline. Okay, that's a wrap.